everyone, it's Asha and welcome back to Reading with Asha. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a bookshelf tour with my puppy dog Milo. You want to be in it? He's like, no, not really. But I'm going to be doing a whole tour of my bookshelf, which you guys requested. I've never even, I don't think I've watched one of these videos, maybe. But I don't really know how people do them, but I'll just show you guys like the layout of my bookshelf and how everything's set up. And you guys can kind of see all the books on my bookshelf, so let's get right into it. This is my bookshelf. It's the Billy bookshelf from Ikea, right? Mm -hmm. My boyfriend got it for me for... Are you falling asleep? I'm going to set him down so he can sleep. Um, my boyfriend got it for me for Christmas. Yep. Is that right? Okay, so he's filming me right now, by the way. But yeah, I got it for Christmas. It's a really, really nice bookshelf, and I love it. I'm going to show you my bookshelf. So let's start at the top here. So up here, I have all of my series of books, like most of them up here, because there's obviously a lot, like box sets. So over here, we'll start. I have the Harry Potter series with my Harry Potter bookmark and this little thing of Snape that, where did we get this? Barnes and Noble, I think. I think we got it from Books A Million. It was one of those little packs. Oh, Books A Million then. Okay, and then I have the Percy Jackson series right here, which I haven't read yet, but these books are pretty small. I feel like it wouldn't take that long to read. And then I have this candle right here. It's called Book Club from Homesick. I've had it for so long and I haven't even burnt it yet, which I should, because it kind of smells good. Well, it does smell good or else I were wouldn't you, have bought were it. You giving, were you giving them a sniff? Is that what you just did? Yeah, giving you guys a little sniff. And then I have the Selection series, which is one of my favorites. And then I have the Court of Thorns and Roses series right here. And these came in a box set, but this is the hardcover version because this is newer. So it came out like that. So that's basically all the box set series in my first row. And then the second row is mostly authors who are, it's like the same authors or some other like trilogies or smaller series, I guess. So right here is the Inheritance Games, the first two books, and I'm pretty sure the new one comes out in August. And then we have some Emily Henry here, Beach Read, People We Meet on Vacation, and Book Lovers by Emily Henry, which I haven't read yet, but I read these two, and I haven't read either of these either. And then we have some Taylor Jenkins Read, we have Daisy Jones and the Six and the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which I've read both of those. Some John Green right here, Looking for Alaska and Turtles All the Way Down, which I've read both of those, both very good. Then we have the Summer I Turn Pretty trilogy, which is pretty good. And the show is coming out in like next week, I think, on Amazon Prime, and I'm really excited for that. And then we have some Madeline Miller, and the reason that I also had the Song of Achilles by her, but um, I'm loaning it to someone right now, so it's not here, but that's where it would be. That's why I have her on the shelf. Cersei, which I love this book too, and then The One of Us is Lying. And the sequel, One of Us is Next, both really good too. And I have this trilogy that my boyfriend's mom got me for my birthday right here. And I haven't read any of these yet, but I do plan on reading them soon. And then right here we have all of my Colleen Hoover books, Never Never and Too Late. I don't hear too much about either of these, but I haven't read them yet. And then here's all of my other Colleen Hoover books. It ends with us, Without Merit, Maybe Someday, Confess. I've read all of these, haven't read this. And then I've read all the rest of these. And I also have All Your Perfects, but I loaned it to my sister, but it would be down here with like these, just like novellas, but they have something to do with it. I think both of them do. Hmm. I know this has something to do with All Your Perfects. Oh, so this is all one story? They all tie together? No. Oh, it's I just that's by what the same saying. author. Oh. These two tie into one, this ties into one of her other books, but this one ties into another book of hers. Oh, okay. None of these really tie into each other except for these two, which I don't know why they're like that, actually. Let's put it like this so that they're kind of, there. The rest of them are standalone. So, but she has a new one coming out. It starts with us, which is the sequel to this. So, okay. Anyways, since I didn't have enough room for all of my same authors up here, I moved them down here. So I don't know why this is over here actually. This John Green book, it should be up here with my other John Green books, but it's not. So whatever. Okay, we have Fifty Shades of Grey, Fifty Shades Darker, which I've only read Fifty Shades of Grey. It's like one of the first books that I read when I started reading. Oh, you've never even read the second one? No, but I don't know. I haven't really been interested in reading it, I guess. Then we have Casey McQuinston, their One Last Stop in Red, White, and Royal Blue, which I have read this and I haven't read this, but I'm going to read it this month because it's Pride Month. 
and it's like a LGBTQ love story, I think. And then we have Zen in the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. I haven't read this book yet, my dad got it for me. And I think it's more of like, a, not really a classic, but a book that really will make you think. So I haven't read it yet. Then we have What If It's Us. Did I read this? No, I didn't read that. I got this in my era of when we would just go to the bookstore and buy books instead of like, and actually look at them instead of going there to buy books that we see on TikTok or something. And then I have Christmas at Silver Falls, which I started reading, but I didn't really like it. Psychopath Free, free. this is a help book, kind of. My grandma gave it to me. And then we have A Princess for Christmas which is so good, I love this book for Christmas. It's by Jenny Holiday. I absolutely love it, and I hope that there's like a second book or something, because I just love the vibes. It kind of reminds me of the selection. A Thousand Ships, which is a Greek mythology book, and then Aphrodite Made Me Do It, which is a Greek mythology poetry book. The first book in the Shatter Me series, which I started reading, but I didn't get very far into it, because I decided I want to read something else, but I will definitely read this, because I know it's so popular. All the Light We Cannot See, I love that book. The 12 Dates of Christmas, I also really like that book for Christmas time. I should put all my Christmas ones together. And then I have Then She Was Gone. This is probably the very first book that got me back into reading, like when I started reading again. After by Anna Todd, I haven't read this and I actually don't ever know if I will read it, but I did get it for like $2 at Books A Million. So I just got it to get it, I think. But then I have Love and Other Words, of course. Every Last Word, Love Hypothesis, Summer Broken Rules. I love all of these. A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Haven't read it yet, but I know I'm gonna read it soon. Probably in the fall time since it's like a little spooky kind of book. Right? Not really spooky, but it's like a murder mystery. Today, Tonight, Tomorrow. I'm definitely reading this soon. Definitely this summer. Most of all, You by Mia Sheridan. The Viscount Who Loved Me, All the Bright Places, We Were Liars, The Last Summer of Ada Bloom. I haven't even read this. Got it from this, one of my favorite bookshops ever in this little lake town that we go to, but yeah. Okay, next, this is kind of a weird setup here. So, what is this? So I have these books down here. These are mostly poetry books or classics. So The Bridges of Madison County, Siddhartha, Pride and Prejudice, Little Women. This is only like the first half of Little Women. Then we have our poetry books, like Sincerely by S. F. S. Yusuf. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Pillow Thoughts, Homebody, and the Princess Saves Herself in this one. And then these are just more standalone, like fun little books, just like yeah. the ones on the shelf above. It's kind of like a good color scheme because it's like dark books and then like Great color book. books. We have Every Summer After, love that book. Mary Jane, haven't read it yet. I just got this yesterday at a garage sale for one dollar, and it's recommended by Ellen Hildebrand, so I thought it would be good, a little bee treat. Kisses and Croissants, so cute, Tell Me Three Things, and then Bright Side by Kim Holden, and I love, I haven't read these three, but I love the rest of them. So, okay, now if we move down one more shelf, this is kind of random, but these are all of my hardcover books. I like to put them on the same shelf just because everything else is paperback except for my series. But these are all my hardcover books. So we have Beautiful World, Where Are You by Sally Rooney. I hated this book, to be honest. Felix Ever After, haven't read it. Would be also a good book to read for Pride Month, though. The Little Art of Not Giving Up Blank <laughs> by Mark Man Manson. I haven't read this and I think honestly I probably wouldn't read it. I would probably listen to it on Audible because self-help books a lot of time I have to listen to them to actually understand. How to Be Anti-Racist by Ivory Max Kendi. I love this book. It's really good. I highly recommend it. Yes, No, Maybe So by Wait a Minute. Did I read this? Wait, I think I read this. Oh yes, I read this book. It was good. I like the cover. It's really cute. They Both Die at the End, which is okay. I'm pregnant. Oh God, why did you just spoil it? You just spoiled the book. Oh, I thought you were talking about this book and you said they both die at the end. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> no, they both die at the end. Nobody dies in this book. Oh my God. Um, Yeah, that's that book. But this is called I'm Pregnant. I feel like a lot of people haven't read this, but this is when I was in like junior year and you would just have to find a book at school and like read it for your personal reading or whatever. I read that in the best laid plans, which I really liked that one too. That was a cute little YA book. Daughter of the Moon Goddess, which I'm really excited to read this because just look at this cover. It's so beautiful. How, how many of these books have you not read? Not that many. This is a really good book, Ariadne. 
by Jennifer Saint. It's a Greek mythology book. Becoming Michelle Obama. I got this like at the beginning and when I started reading it, I still haven't read it. And then we have 28 Summers by Ellen Hildebrand, which I just read and it was really good. This is just random stuff, to be honest, because I haven't filled it up yet. It's just some school stuff, like for my And you have more books over here. Oh yeah, I'll show those too, but a lot of the books that I have read are also on my Kindle, so keep that in mind. But yeah, most of them are on my Kindle, so. But these are all the other ones I have. Question. I mean, what? What are you going to do when this bookshelf gets filled up? Get another one? And then where is it gonna go? Um, I think I would- Probably have to put- One there and one there. Yeah. That's so shift it to this wall and then have them and, and, and then do like a little a nook, reading nook. Yeah. Then I have this other leaning shelf that was the first bookshelf that I had. I honestly didn't plan on getting a whole another bookshelf until December because I just used to keep my books next to my nightstand, like underneath it, and I would stack them all up, but there was getting to be way too many that I started having to put them all the way up there. But obviously I need that all for it kind of looks messy up there, but you get the point. This is the bookshelf I started off with. It's just got cute stuff. This is Influenced by Sarah Shepard and Lilia Buckingham. I haven't read this. This is the Love in Gelato trilogy, which I love. Eleanor and Park, which I liked, but I've heard not great things about this author. And then I have this little thing, Angel, that my dad's girlfriend got me. Some Oracle, self-care Oracle decks. I have a crystal book and a little crystal. amethyst crystal. And then I have all you need is love and a cat, a cute little fake plant, some more. This is a journal for self-exploration. This is a five minute journal that I used to have, but I don't, there's something I didn't like about this. The thing is, I don't like how it says, how could I have made today even better? Hmm. Because I feel like you just shouldn't be like going back and reflecting on like, the oh, there, yeah. And then Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, and this is the collector's edition. It's so cute, look. So pretty, like how cute yeah, is that? Yeah, cool book. And this is what the side looks like. And then I have If I'm Being Honest, which is Emily Weberly. I really like that book too, and I read it in school. And then down here, I just have nothing that has to do with books, honestly, but. Oh, okay. <laughs> he <laughs> looks uncomfortable. Shiny get out of the Okay, so that's gonna be it for my bookshelf tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know. Let me know what. Let me know what. Let me know. I don't know what to say. Let me know if you have a bookshelf. Let me know any video suggestions. Oh, let me know any video suggestions that you guys have in the comments down below. I got a lot from my bookstagram that I wrote them all down and I'm really excited to do. I love you guys so much. Make sure you give a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.